In this video, I'm gonna be solo camping in the Appalachian Mountains with my dogs. I'll be sleeping in a hammock. We'll be hunting anything that moves. I'm not sure what we're gonna get into, but we're gonna have a good time. Are you kidding me? Gosh. Can't forget about the old trusty 22 mag. Gotta keep the hounds warm, putting in some fresh straw before we hit the road. So I think I've got everything loaded up. I'm getting in a little bit of a hurry because the sun is about to go down right there. I wanna get camp set up and everything before it gets dark. That way when I'm done hunting, I can just come straight back to camp, crawl in my little hammock and go to bed. But we're not completely packed because I'm missing one, one last thing and that's the hounds. Now on this trip, I'm not gonna be taking Bliss and Baby because they're both in heat, but I'm gonna be taking the rest of them. Let's go. JJ, things are ready. Y'all need your collars on. Let's go, come on. Let's go. Look at brother. Wrong box. <laughs> they ain't been out in a while. Last time we were out, we were running bobcats. And that was weeks ago. I don't expect them to behave the best because they are wired right now. <laughs> Should make for an entertaining video though. I'm gonna get the collars on them, get them in the box, hit the road. We gotta get camp set up. Come on, let's go. They're fired up. Tonight's gonna be interesting. <laughs> All right, we got them loaded up. I gotta run inside and grab one more thing and then we're gonna hit the road. <laughs> All right, let's hit the road. We got about a 30, 45 minute ride. Where we're gonna, I think, set up. I don't have a location nailed down like 100% this is where we're going, so I don't know. Let's go see if we can find something. Something that'll work before it gets dark. Get everything set up, and then we're gonna go hunt. Going on a meat hunt tonight, taking the meat dogs out. And we gotta pray we don't have a flap, because my tires are bald. This might be the last trip on them. <laughs> May have found my potential location. We'll see here. Gotta find some trees that'll work for that hammock. And I've never set that hammock up before. It's the first time. I just got it the other day at Cabela's. I've been eyeing it for a while and decided to pull the trigger on it. And they seem pretty simple and easy to set up. I had one before it. This looks like a pretty cool spot right here. I can keep an eye on the side by side on the dogs. And the wind is gonna be blowing over top of me, not hitting me. If I was on that side of the mountain, it'd be hitting me right in the face. I think for the time I have, this is gonna be the best setup. But Anyways, I'm gonna keep backing the side by side up here. I gotta move this grapevine out of the way. And then I think this spot's gonna work. I've got about an hour until it gets dark. Gotta get everything set up and ready. It's gonna be a fun night. I think y'all are gonna like this one. All right, they Debo. Yeah.
so I took it for granted. I thought this hammock would come with all the parts and like the actual straps that you hang it to the tree, like hang off, that you hang from the tree to connect to the hammock, didn't come with those. So I got lucky and the dog leads fit it perfect. All right, we're almost done. I gotta inflate my pad. Voila. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And there we have it. It's gonna be my uh, bedroom tonight. We're about 30 minutes away from dark. I need to let these guys out of the box, let them use the bathroom, but I'm not gonna do it right here. <laughs> you ready to go, Bobo? They are chomping at the bit. What do you say, Tammy? I know Dean can't wait to get out of there. I'm gonna run up here on the ridge, let them empty out up here, wait till darkness and start the hunt. And there goes half the straw. Debo, thank you for being patient. Ding, ding. Look how big Ding's got. So we're gonna do a few different methods of hunting tonight, but there will be one thing in common, and that's for meat hunting. So anything's on the list besides deer, and coyotes. Possum, check. Raccoon, check. Flying squirrel, check. Bobcat, double check. You can't kill bobcats at night though. So if you trim, you just gotta let them go. I'm trying to think what else. Oh, and if we happen to run into a bear, chances are low, they should be in a den right now. But if we do, we do. We can't kill it though. <laughs> yeah, we're probably just gonna hang out here, wait for darkness to fall, then go see what we can find. All right, so we've got Debo right here. Tammy, Biscuit, JJ, and ding ding right there and of course can't forget about brother all right i, I just wanted to show you all this watch this i'm gonna open this this door right here and watch what happens <laughs> ding ding he's done it since he was a puppy if y'all follow me on instagram you can get on my instagram and see the clip i'm talking about we're almost there it's about dark a boy a girl. Let's put you in the box. You wanna load up? Give it a shot. Give it a shot. <laughs> Come on, load up, load up. Uh-uh, not me. No, what are you doing? No. Load up, ding. Load up, ding. He just, he just excited to be here. So last night we got a ton of rain and it's actually slightly flooded. The water is moving out of these mountains. I've got one of these life straws here. So I'm gonna take advantage of all this rain we've got, fill my jug up. All right, y'all ready to go? Y'all ready to go? <laughs> so what we're gonna do now is just road hunt. <laughs> oh, Debo's ready. We might free cast them later, but for now we're just gonna road hunt. Go. They're acting pretty interested there. Like they're smelling something up that hill. All right, so they just shot up on the hill. They've opened a few times. They're heading way up on the mountain here. So I'm just gonna get back here in the buggy and track them and see what they do. It sounds like brother JJ and Ding Ding have one treed way, way, way down at the bottom there. Right back here, I just picked up Tammy Biscuit and Debo and these three went on. So I know y'all can't hear them on there, but I'm gonna grab the gun here and drop down in there. My gosh, they're deep down in there. Just a little 500 yard straight off the mountain. There ain't no roads down here. Brother JJ and my boy Ding, they've got it treed down here.
slipped right up on that owl. You don't see that every day. That was worth the walk itself. We're less than 100 yards from them. The water is moving. I see whatever it is. I see its eyes. See its eyes looking at us? It ain't setting high. I'm guessing it's a possum. <laughs> yep, it's a possum. Let's go save some turkeys. I told y'all, possums on the list. It is. Good boy. I'm just gonna take the 22, pop the possum real quick in the head, quick kill. Okay, well, the boys are having lunch there. It's a little uh, little graphic, but it's gonna meet dogs for a reason. I gotta take this beanie off, guys, it's hot. All right, one possum down. I feel like it's my duty, especially with turkey season coming up. You know, if you're a turkey hunter and you wanna see, you wanna help turkey populations thrive, you gotta take out predators. We all should be out here, at least, if you don't have dogs, trapping, contributing some way. Come on, let's go. Good boys. Man, this overhang is huge. And there's three or four foot above me. What do you think of this, Ding? This overhang is huge. All right, Ding, we're almost back. Hold up, let's go, brother. Let's go, JJ. Good boys. Good job, fellas. Good job. So before we proceed, I'm gonna shed a couple layers, even though it's gonna get in the 30s tonight. It is. I'm warm right now. Let's go. You already find another one? Tammy, you gotta do better this time, honey. Let's go, hunt him up. Debo, brother, and Ding have shot over the hill to the right here. Oh, just opened. Ding, Ding just let out a squall right there. Look at him. Come on, baby. I mean, I don't care if they run possum, obviously. I'm hoping this one's a coon. All right, they're on the move, and I'm already cold again. <laughs> All right, you see they're throwing circles right there. All the boys, Tammy and Biscuit, they didn't go. They ain't, they ain't figured it out quite yet, what we're doing. <laughs> they're about to pull up treed. Well, they've went quiet on me. I'm guessing, I'm guessing it's still out here. They're just having trouble treeing on it. Here we go. That's what you wanna hear. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Another possum. I thought for sure it was gonna be a coon. Well, let's get down here and knock this one out. Big grinner. Ah. Gonna put the mag in the old Rossi. Let her eat. Another possum down, baby. <laughs> I got a Vortex Venom on this red dot. I absolutely love it. Red dot on a 22 mag, that's a sweet combination, especially a semi-auto. All right. Make sure we're clear, all good to go there. I see one of them running off with a possum in their mouth. Who's got that? Let's go. Come on, who's got it? Ding's got it. <laughs> hey, Ding, you get up here. Come on, Ding, let's go. You did good, buddy. You got the possum. Learn from your daddy. Let's go, come on, back to the buggy. Let's go. Y'all did good, good doggies. Listen, I need y'all to get a, a, a coon. 
a raccoon. Just lay off the possums one time. Let's go. I smell a skunk. I smell a skunk. Mm -mm. That's that's off limits. I didn't mention that earlier in the video. Did you get? Did you get sprayed? I know I smelled it. One of them got hit. I don't. I can't believe. I'm, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna count my blessings if they don't have it caught right now. I 100% smell one. Definitely been something cross. Bad news. I 1000% smell skunk. I mean, we were 500 yards from where, when we got back to the side by side, I could smell the one. <sighs> They've definitely got sprayed. Look. Tammy, did you get sprayed? Let's go! Here come the other three stooges. Let's go! And there it is. None other than brother carrying it out. Come on! Come on, brother. You brought this far. Bring it up here. Come on, brother. Let's go! Brother and Ding Ding, side by side. Father and son. <laughs> with their prized possession. Well, they're not wanting to come out with it, so we'll go down here and take a look at it. Oh my gosh, it reeks. Brother, quit. And that, quit brother, leave it alone. No ding, get away from it. That is a skunk. And oh my gosh, get away. My garment's in the truck ride, Tony. I mean side by side, whatever. Get out of there. Come on, brother, let's go. Brother and Ding, father and son, don't mind the smell at all. The rest of them are rolling around, trying to get it off of them. We get back here to the buggy where I can tone them. Now, <sighs> gotta smell that all night. <sighs> let's go. Bunch of dummies. You too, Debo, you are the first one to bark, I think. There he is. Come on, hunt him up. Hunt him up. Yeah, I don't blame you, Tammy. Don't blame you one bit. And I kind of brought it on myself, if you think about it, because earlier I was naming everything we could, everything we couldn't hunt. I did mention everything we could hunt, but meat dogs, what can I say? <laughs> so we got one skunk tonight, two possums. The temperature is dropping. Time to, time to get the old jacket back out. Uh, I know it don't sound good right now, but they just shot over the hill and they're not really moving anywhere. They're acting like they got something caught over here, so I'm gonna go take a peek. All right, boys, what we got going on? Where's it? Where's it? So this is super, super thick. Not sure what the best way in is. There's like a wall of autumn olives. Another stinking possum. You know what we do from here. Get him! Get him! They're pretty good at treating possums. That'll be our fourth catch of the night and third possum. I'm telling you, if we could just cross a coon track, it's in trouble. <laughs> and by the way, I know I, I'm not eating these possums. If you want to go see somebody eat possums, just search Kendall Gray. I ain't a possum eater. Ain't that right? Come on, let's go. Good dogs, y'all got another one. Ooh. Only one thing we can do, and that's keep hunting. There we go.
All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to do it for tonight's hunt, but the video is far from over because we're going to get back to camp, finish kind of getting everything set up. I might start a little fire and just thaw out a little bit, eat a little bit. Unfortunately, none of the game we harvested tonight quite fits my palate, so uh, I brought some stuff, though. A little bit of elk. Go, JJ. Go, JJ. Brother, come here. What are you boys doing? I ain't touching you, brother. In a box. In a box, not on top. He always wants to go on top. You son of a gun. Brother, in the box. In the box, come on. Here, brother, in the box. I'm with the touch you. All right, go. Go. Get in there. Atta boy. Let's go, Ding. Let's go. Get in there with your dad. All right, let's get to camp. Made it back. Home sweet home. There we go. Little elk summer sausage. Brought an extra puffy just in case too. All right, so we've got a little bit of a fire started. I think I'm gonna cut into this summer sausage here, have a little dinner. It's almost 1 a.m. though, so probably gonna go to bed soon. If you've never had elk summer sausage or deer, it's killer. These guys out of Prestonsburg, Kentucky made this. I think it's called Appalachian Meats. Fantastic, the best summer sausage I've ever had. Just about forgot, brought a lantern. And also an RX bar. These are pretty good and pretty healthy. At least I think, seems to have like whole food ingredients. 12 grams of protein. They don't look the best, but they're pretty good. All right, well, you guys sleep tight. You smell like dirty skunks. And I believe I'm gonna hop in the hammock and give this a go. It's a little chilly out. It's like 35 though, so the dogs are super, super comfortable. I'm comfortable. Let's hop in the hammock and go to bed. Fire's going out. I think it's gonna be a little tricky if I'm being honest, getting in this thing with the sleeping bag. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna attempt to slip out of my boots here. I don't know how much of this I can film. It's gonna be tough because I'm gonna be swinging a little bit here, but hopefully these dog leads hold me, kind of work my way. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this. I, got, I gotta set this camera down though. <laughs> All right, well, I got in here. I've almost got the sleeping bag zipped all the way up. I accidentally left the lantern on just barely, but honestly, it's kind of convenient. It's like a nightlight. Might run off a bear or something. No oh, wait, I got a box full of dogs for that. Anyways, I'm gonna try to shimmy my way up this and uh, zip myself the rest of the way up. And I guess I'll see y'all in the morning. Good morning. It's just now broke daylight. I can hear the dogs stirring a little bit. So I'm gonna get up and let them out, let them use the bathroom. Overall, the hammock was pretty comfortable. I'll be honest with you, I could do it again. <laughs> I didn't think when I first laid down, I did not think it was gonna be good. I might use my jacket as a pillow. You gotta have a pillow, that helped a bunch. Let's go see what the dogs are into. Hmm. Morning, pups. What are y'all doing? 
Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 Tammy, Tammy, get out of there. They're going to try to territory, Mark. Get out of there. Quit. Get out of there. I was worried one of them was going to try to pee on my backpack or get the summer sausage out. And it looked like they were going for both. Had a little sparkling water last night, too. What are you saying? Oh, get away. You stink, brother. Who is that? Biscuit. All right. Biscuit. Get out. Biscuit doesn't smell like a skunk. Biscuit was smart. We're going to try to attempt to eat a little breakfast this morning. We've got another RX bar. So this is for breakfast. Oh. All right. Get back. Nope. Nope. Get back. Nope. No, get away, skunky. Brother Reeks. Him and Tammy got the worst of it. So yeah, overall, the hammock was really comfortable. Like, I thought I would wake up kind of sore and, I don't know, not quite feeling right, especially when you're used to sleeping in a bed. The hammock was nice. No complaints. If y'all have any suggestions on how to set it up to make it more comfortable, feel free to comment. Let's go. Load up, in a box. Load up. And brother goes to the top. All right. Well, I just about got everything packed up. Y'all can see behind me here, the sun's starting to pop up over the ridge. Not sure what I'm gonna do about the skunk smell. I know I'm gonna go home and take a shower. The dogs, maybe today or something, I'll give them a tomato bath, baking soda. I know I asked for su suggestions, but if y'all have any idea how to get rid of the skunk smell, let me know below. This has been fun though, it's been real fun. Thank goodness for the dog leads, or I'd have been, I'd have been laying on the ground last night. So I've got camp broke down overall. It's a pretty good stay. Let's get these dogs back to the house and break the news to my wife that at least brother and Tammy got sprayed by skunks. I know Ding Ding did too. He was right down in there with his dad rolling around in it. It's been a fun one. Y'all gonna have to let me know. Keep doing the, I gotta come up with a name for it. Camping hunts, is that a good one? Keep doing the camping hunt videos with the hounds. I thought it was cool. Definitely something different. Gave it a little flavor. And man, there's just nothing like getting out there, just spending time in God's creation, getting away from everything. I mean, that's the biggest thing is just laying there in that hammock last night. No sound at all going on around me besides nature. <sighs> Super peaceful. But yeah, it was fun. I'm, I, I'm telling you, we're gonna get a, we're gonna get a raccoon. You just got to stick with me. I believe they can do it. <laughs> They've done it before. The possums and skunk, they were on their feet last night. We, we got to get the coons up and moving. Ain't that right? All right, you bunch of stinkies. Yo, get down. Come on, let's go. Let's go out back. Good dogs.